Hey MacWarriors, it's Dylan here. In this video, I will share with you the 5 mechs that get you more wins against players in CPC. This hangar is also adapted for the new update. Not only that, but I will also preview that in-game competitive players are using most of them. Nomad, 24 Energy Legendary Scout Mech Ability Chain Dash Ability Description With no implants Upon activation, the mech dashes until a max range of 45 meters and activates a 3 second 60% damage reduction If it eats an enemy, it deals 79,200 points of damage and allows you to do a second dash that also activates damage resistance and can damage a second enemy it cannot do damage to the same enemy twice reload 8 seconds the good very good mobility above average HP for a scout tank level with damage resistance Amazing close quarters fight. Very flexible with weapons combos. The bed. Very dependent on your ability. Fairly easy to kill outside of damage resistance spell. Weak against EMP and days. No ability to support the team. Best use. Close range weapons work great on him. Dash at your enemy with a weapon that can kill him in 3 seconds or less and you will probably still be alive to dash away or go for a second enemy. Counters all snipers if you time your dashes right. Very good Aegis counter. Ember Gun Numbered is the only build that doesn't really care about Guardian System Crash. Also, possible to counter Seeker if you are paying attention to the targeting mark on you. For all the above reasons, Ember Guns are the best fit. Now let's see some Nomad Ember Guns plays. Search 24 Energy Legendary Scout Mag Ability Storm Dash Skill Description with no implants Upon activation, the mech dashes until a max range of 40 meters and activates EMP plus stealth at the end of the dash for 4 seconds. MP radius 15 meters. Reload 7 seconds. The good, very good mobility, more flexible mech, depending on the weapon it can work at all ranges, EMP and stealth, the bed, low HP but normal for a scout. Best use, great starter, perfect for contesting the central beacon even against Nomad. Surge is built for close range fights, but it's so flexible that even with the M's it works. Its mobility allows him to choose the distance of the fight, a threat at close range with the MP and difficult to hit at range with its shield. Because of its flexibility, I consider that railguns are a perfect match. Direct counter to Nomad. Just don't waste your ammo before 3 seconds after Nomad Dash. Your EMP will last longer. Counters Seeker. Art will eliminate with Helix or Rocket Mortar. Now let's see some Surge Rail Guns plays.
Aegis, 24 Energy Epic Tank Mech, Ability, Dome Shield, Ability Description, No Implants, Deploys a Dome Shield, which blocks enemy weapons and most abilities. The dome disappears when its HP reaches zero from 750 at max level or its timer runs out. You and your allies can shoot through. The good. Its ability is one of the best team support. The bad. Low HP for a tank. Its ability is very weak when enemies are inside of it. Vulnerable in close range fights. Best use. Aegis is a great team support. Its ability is what puts it on this list. Best played with a team member close by. Its thumb can be used to defend the beacon or offensively, giving time for your team to reduce enemy numbers before that decisive push. The best build for it was these clashes, but now they have been adju adjusted. I honestly think miniguns cannot start to shine on this map. They provide incredible sustained damage. Paired with your shield, the enemy only has two options, hide or go all in inside your dome. It's up to you to decide the best moment to push. Now let's see some Aegis minigun plays. Seeker 24 Energy Legendary Attacker Mech Ability Warp Ability Description No Implants Teleports to an enemy within 100 meters While teleporting cannot take damage On arrival it activates a shield of 34200 HP and deals 30% more damage This ability is a bit complex Ruffles has made a nice video about it. Go check it out. The good can choose its fights from cover. Very hard to counter if it's using burst weapons. The bad low HP for a close range attacker. Its shield HP is way too low. No defense if not teleporting. Best use. Seeker is a new mech, and I can't claim I have found the best use for it. But from my experience so far, it's a must-have mech. The value it offers to me is to be able to take out strategical targets in the match. Paired with Storm Rocks 12, I can take out any mech in the game. Only Nomad and Vortex can be a bit harder if they know what they are doing. Now, let's see some Seeker Storm Rocks plays. Oh, my.
Eclipse 24 Energy Legendary Scout Mech Ability Face Cloak Ability Description No Implant When active, Eclipse Speed increases. Activate Stilt, forcing enemy to use only manual aim, and it becomes immune to debuffs for 12 seconds. The Good Its Stealth is a very useful ability. Good Speed The Bad its ability loses value in close range fights. Best used in mid to long range, making weapon choices less versatile. Best use Eclipse doesn't have HP to fight more tanky mechs at close range. And its ability offers less value when facing most mechs at close range. Area of effect weapons are even easier to do back damage when Eclipse is in stealth. But what he loses on close ranges makes him deadly at mid to long range. Pair a sniper weapon with impredictability of its positioning, the other difficulty to land precise shots, and you have a very dangerous mech. Now let's see some equips he ends plays. Okay, so why these 5 mechs? All of those mechs in the same squad offer speed, support for the team, counters to weapons and mechs players normally use, and takes advantage of some of the best abilities in game. Need to get the beacon fast? You have Nomad and Surge. Need to secure the center beacon? You have Aegis, Surge, Seeker. Well, you can teleport to the mech capturing the center and destroying it. Just need to decide if it's worth risk losing your seeker. Need to take out priority targets? You have Nomad, Surge, Eclipse and Seeker. All of them offers a counter to most if not all mechs in the game. Need to deal with the Aegis? You have Nomad and Seeker. Need to deal with Seeker, Rocket Mortars or Helix? You have Surge, Eclipse, Nomad or Aegis. And many other situations you find yourself in, I bet you have the solution. Not convinced? Let me show you some of the best endgame competitive player zangers. And of course there's a lot of extremely good players missing. These are just to give you an idea. If you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Now, check this video about 3 essential tips for CPC for more info about how to play this mode. Right there. What are you waiting for? Alright. See you next time.